Good morning, guys. It is the week of St. Patrick's Day, and usually in Savannah, we have a big giant parade. But again, this year, because of the pandemic, our parade had to be canceled. But I wanted to read you a story because um, you know those little pesky leprechauns, they're everywhere. Well, we usually read about leprechauns, but today I wanted to actually read about St. Patrick's Day. So you can see some of the traditional dance from Ireland, and you can um, see some of their traditional food. So it's called, it's St. Patrick's Day. And they wear a lot of green. You can see the green, lots of green, and it says it's St. Patrick's Day. Um, red hair, very common, a very common trait amongst the Irish. So let's read our story. It's St. Patrick's Day. It's St. Patrick's Day. The holiday is here. It's March 17th. It's the same day every year. That's correct. The same number day every year. Some holidays change days, um, like this one. And some holidays remain the same day every year, the same day of the week every year. But St. Patrick's Day is always the same number day, just like Christmas is always the same number day, March 17th. And you can see it on your calendar. It's St. Patrick's Day. We love to dress in green. See their green chair and their green table. And if they love to dress in green, what color clothes do you think they're going to wear? Irish eyes will smile. Will leprechauns be seen? Is that the leprechaun? Remember, if you capture a leprechaun, he's supposed to give you a pot of gold. And supposedly that pot of gold is hidden behind a rainbow. It's St. Patrick's Day. Hurry up. Get dressed. There's a lot to celebrate. You're going to look your best. See, again, all green, green hat, green shirt, green pants. She's got on green, she's got her green hat. Lots of green on St. Patrick's Day. That's because over in Ireland, it's very rainy and they have a lot of lush green pastures, which are fields and grass. It's St. Patrick's Day, so wear a lot of green. Up, oh, choose hats, coats, shirts, or anything in between. I'm sure that when you go to the parade or here in Savannah, when you, because we have a lot of Irish people here in Savannah, um, they were brought over to help build our city. And so when you um, are at home, even though you're not going to the parade, you could still wear green. So you'll probably wear a lot of green on this day. It's St. Patrick's Day. Let's find a four leaf clover. We'll celebrate the Irish before the day is over. Now, I know you've seen Irish dancers. Um, there's a lot of, of troops of Irish dancers here in Savannah, and they do a very different kind of dance. Their feet go very fast. They wear a special shoe. Um, the girls get all fancied up in these very pretty, elaborate dresses. Their hair is usually in curls, and um, they do a lot of fun dancing, fast dancing. It's St. Patrick's Day. Let's make some Irish stew. Potatoes, carrots, onions. Serve it hot for me and you. They eat a lot of root vegetables over there. Root vegetables, if you remember, um, they grow in the ground. We talked about that a long time ago. Uh, potatoes, carrots, they all grow in the ground. So those are root vegetables. They grow under the ground, I should say. Not in the ground, but under the ground. It's St. Patrick's Day. We can dance an Irish reel. We will drink some, uh, we will drink sweet green juice at each and every meal. Looks like a lot of fun. So you can celebrate without a parade. You can do all these fun things. It's St. Patrick's Day. Tune the harp and tune the fiddle. Now this is a harp. She puts it in her lap and plays the strings by pulling them back. This is a fiddle. Remember, hey, diddle, diddle, the cat and the fiddle? Here's the fiddle. And so a fiddle, you play by using a bow. That's what this thing is called, a bow. And the bow has some hair on it. It's actually horse hair. And they run the bow across the strings to make different types of music. And you use your fingers to put them in different spots called chords to go ahead and make it sound different. We'll eat our favorite cookies with green icing in the middle. Yum, yum. 
It's St. Patrick's Day. No matter where you were born, today you can be Irish and wish everyone top of the morn. Kind of look like they're marching and having their own little parade, don't they? It looks like fun. It's St. Patrick's Day. Let's sing an Irish song. We'll wear our green carnations. That's the flowers that you see. We'll wear our green carnations and celebrate all day long. Celebrate means to party and have fun. It's St. Patrick's Day. Do you hear the pipes and drums? That's a bagpipe. If you've been to the parade in Savannah, you've heard them. They're very loud. And there's always drums, too. I have a friend who plays in a bagpipe corps. He actually plays the bagpipes, and his daughter plays the drums. Let's join the celebration. Do you want to come? What do you think? Would you like to go to their party for the day? It's St. Patrick's Day. Irish music will be played. Be sure to get to Main Street to watch the big parade. Now in Savannah, it's not just Main Street. It's all over the city. It's a very long parade. Happy St. Patrick's Day. They're throwing four-leaf clovers. They're dancing. It looks like a great time. All right, so that's really St. Patrick's Day. All of kind of their similar tra traditions of bagpipes and drum corps and um, the potatoes and the stew and wearing green and just having a good time. So I want you to try to have a good time on your St. Patrick's Day. I know it's not our typical St. Patrick's Day, but you can still make it fun. Wear a lot of green. Take a picture of your green and send it to me. Send it to me on Remind or send it to me in Seesaw. I can't wait to see it. Have fun.